Hey Emily, it's Wednesday and I've been a little bit bad at this. Welcome back from our impromptu holiday hiatus that I am taking the blame for. Full disclosure that I am currently on my work lunch break filming this in my car, so not going to be the best tech or audio. I just really wanted to get something up, one, so I can remind myself that I can do stuff like that, and two, just to apologize for being gone and explain where I'm at and what I'm planning to do. So here's the thing. The winter months are particularly hard on me. I struggle to stay motivated and just like do anything when it gets dark at 4 p.m. These last few weeks have been particularly rough. Um, just because I work full time so I get up and I get home when it is dark out and I have not really been motivated to do anything besides go to work and go to sleep. On the weekends if I'm not doing something I already planned I mostly just sleep which is not good for my mental health and I am trying to fix that. So all that being said it's been not the greatest time for my mental health um, as well as just like my motivation. I haven't been able to really do much of things that are fun because when I get in periods like this I struggle to think of fun things as fun things like everything's a chore whether it is doing actual chores or doing something I should be enjoying. I know that the supposed solution to this is do the things I enjoy and it will make me feel better um, but it can be hard <laughs> to motivate yourself. I just want to be open and honest about stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm very much inspired by how John talks about his mental health, so I'm trying to take a little bit of a page from his book. I am feeling a little bit better though. Um, it's starting to get lighter out again, and I am in a routine with my work, so that's nice. It obviously ebbs and flows though. I have a lot of plans for the upcoming weekends, um, and I'm just hoping that if I keep myself moving and allow the right period of rest, whatever that is, that I hopefully won't dip down. That being said, I'm also trying to make sure that I am realistic. Um, and something that I realized was doing long form editing, at least at this second, was not realistic for me. The thing about my videos is even though they weren't like the most crazy editing, I would usually film for like an hour because I like the filming part. Um, and so it would take a lot of time to edit down. That's just time I don't currently have. When I first started doing this, um, it was still like light outside. I felt like I had more hours in the day um, versus now I am struggling <laughs> to find time to do a lot of stuff. So what I want to do, um, just so I can keep this up while also not making it become like a chore or a problem, is I want to do more shorter form videos, a little less editing, a little less vlogging for as long, um, and just keep it a bit more realistic. Hopefully I can get back to doing some more fun stuff, but my next videos might just be a little bit more vloggy like this. I am incredibly grateful for the patience that you, Emily, and like all my friends have, um, especially when I get in difficult periods like this. My mental health issues are not new to me, but I do struggle to talk about it sometimes and I struggle to not feel guilty. Part of the reason it has taken me so long to make and upload a video is because I felt bad for missing when I was planning on it and then it just made it even more impossible. I want to try to avoid making impossible tasks out of my current tasks, so like I said, I'm going to try to take the steps to make editing and just doing stuff more approachable. But again, I'm really grateful that I have had a ton of support um, and that Emily was not mad at me for accidentally taking three weeks off. My plan was to do a video talking about my favorite things of 2023. I still really liked the video I had, but I'm not sure if I'm going to ever upload it. <laughs> and I have some ideas of what I can do looking forward that will be a little more chill videos, but just something so I can keep being creative. The solution would not be to just end this project and just giving up on it. I know that, um, it feels like the easy thing to do to just give up and scrap it and I don't want to do that. <laughs> I really like this channel. I like making videos with you and also like I want to work through these challenges I'm having. Okay, but filming at work is really awkward. Oh yeah, happy 2024. Um, I'm excited to see 
what this channel ends up being in 2024. I know we had like a deadline, we were talking six months, but obviously a lot of things have been pushed off and changed. Realistically, I don't see me wanting to end this channel anytime soon, though I may have to take the occasional break like I just did. I have big plans for 2024. I hope they all go to fruition. I have concerts lined up, you know I have that. Hopefully 2024 will be the year of continuing to understand my mental health and the limits I need to set and my boundaries, you know. Despite being on this earth for 23 years and having had a mental health diagnosis for half of it, um, I'm still learning a lot about what I do and don't need. So again, thank you so much for your patience. I'm hoping I can still make some good content and Emily, I'll see you on Wednesday.